is day 304. Even if it is my daughter, Fatima. The Prophet had not yet departed from Mecca. He was teaching the newcomer Muslims the commandments and prohibitions of the religion. It was not at all easy for these people to break their old habits. Among these people was a woman by the name of Fatima who had stolen something. She had to be punished so that the same thing would not happen again. But there were those who didn't want to see her punished. According to them, Fatima could not be punished because she came from an aristocratic family of Mecca. They sent Usama to the Prophet. They thought that because he loved Usama so much, maybe he couldn't refuse his request. Usama explained to the Prophet all that had happened and then he requested that Fatima not be punished because she came from an aristocratic family. When the Prophet heard this, the color in his face changed. You, he said, you want me to change the commandments and prohibitions that are imposed by Allah? Usama was saddened. He understood the mistake he had made. O oh, Messenger of Allah, he said, can you forgive me for this improper behavior of mine? The Prophet forgave Usama and then he gathered the people and addressed them. Those who came before you were destroyed because of the following practices. When someone from among the aristocrats stole, they forgive him. When the poor and powerless people stole, they would punish them. The people were listening to him in complete silence. The Prophet continued his speech. I swear by Allah, in whose hands is Muhammad's existence, even if my own daughter Fatima had committed this theft, I would have punished her. Those who were listening to the Prophet were impressed by the principle of equality that Islam had brought. Fatima who had stolen got the punishment she deserved. After she was punished, Fatima sought forgiveness. From now on, she would never commit such an evil act. Those who had intended to steal gave up this idea for fear of being punished. Stealing, injustices and oppression were coming to an end in Mecca. The city was acquiring a completely new face where only the shining side of things remained.